A local five is getting its first overhead view of the aftermath in Greenfield. These storms took out a large swath of homes in the area, tearing apart the large trees this town is so known for. The community is now cleaning up and grieving together. Local five has team coverage for you as our crews have been in Greenfield all day. We start with local fives Larissa Leone. Larissa, you spoke with one woman who lost her home. What did she tell you? Yes, yeah, Stephanie, the debris just covers pretty much every area around me right now. And let me tell you something, this looks like a lot, but it doesn't even scratch the surface of what we're seeing in Greenfield. Now, I spoke to one homeowner who talked to me about how she was inside of her home alone at the time of the tornado. She walked me through what she was feeling. Jane Woodside was spending a relaxing night at home, cooking her dinner and enjoying some tea. Little did she know what was coming just moments later. I had been chopping vegetables. I made a cup of tea, took my laptop, my phone downstairs. Home alone, Jane mustered up the courage to seek shelter in her basement. When I heard that freight train sound, I got down on the floor. As she listened to a tornado rip through. That freight train sound, and I would say 10 to 15 seconds. Very scary and I just stayed up against the wall down there. The fear is a feeling Jane and many other Iowans have felt more than once in their lives. When I was probably 15, the day before Easter, my house was destroyed in a tornado in Eastern Iowa. Uh, so I survived two tornadoes. Woodside is still shaken up from last night, but says apart from potentially being tethered to a string of bad luck, she's optimistic she'll overcome these hard times. I said to my children, you might not want me to live with you. I might be a tornado magnet. So. <laughs> And in true Iowa fashion, everybody's rolling up their sleeves to help out. And we've seen that at pretty much every corner here in Greenfield all afternoon, all morning. And if you can't make it down here to help out, there are still ways you can contribute. Now, the Catholic St. John Church here in Greenfield is asking for donations. They're asking for things like rakes, um, trash bags, Clorox wipes, and things for babies as well. And you can drop that off right at the church. In Greenfield, Larissa Leone, Local 5 News. Governor Reynolds and state officials were in Greenfield today speaking to the community and assessing the damage. The governor emphasizing the search and rescue operation is active. What you know so far is that there are multiple fatalities and at least a dozen others were injured. The governor spoke to the community on those rescue efforts. We just uh, so grateful for all of their response um, to, to this incident. So. You know, we talked to a couple of people that had been impacted, again, uh, in good spirits, grateful, uh, digging through and uh, looking forward. Governor Reynolds also issued a disaster proclamation for more than 30 counties. Following the storms, the proclamation allows state resources to be used for damage. It also activates the Iowa Individual Assistance Grant Program and Disaster Case Advocacy Program. This helps provide support to those who lost their homes or cars and need, need help finding clothes or food. And as we've seen in every image out of Greenfield, that storm left a devastating path of destruction. Meteorologist Hannah Dennis explains the preliminary data from the National Weather Service. Behind me is drone footage of the aftermath of the deadly tornado that plowed through the town of Greenfield. You can just see the devastating path of damage done by this tornado in some of these homes completely gone. Some of the trees, the bark is ripped off of them and cars are flipped over and some of them are even crushed. Now the National Weather Service released a preliminary rating for this tornado saying it was at least an EF3, meaning the wind speeds reached up to 136 to 165 miles per hour. Now, since this is only preliminary, this means the damage is still being assessed and we could potentially see a change in the rating once they finish surveying the damage. On top of that, it is confirmed that there has been multiple fatalities, which can make this the deadliest tornado we have seen so far in 2024. Stephanie.